Hello, good off. Oh, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to a special edition of Chatbox Productions. Uh, Nick and I are live in the studio uh, for a special edition this afternoon because we're going to be talking all about business awards. Now, for some of you joining us on one of our uh, streaming channels, well, welcome to you wherever you are in the world. Maybe you're joining us from the UK, maybe you're somewhere around Europe, maybe further afield. But it's great to have you here this afternoon. Nick. It's an afternoon session, not a breakfast show, but it's good to be here once again. Very excited, mate. I, I tell you what I do love. I tell you what, I love a business that's so good, so good, it wins awards. Right? And not only one or two, we've got a handful of award-winning businesses to talk with today. How, how, how exciting is this? Right? Amazing awards, amazing businesses. Very excited to uh, explore in more detail how on earth... Can you get your business to a point where it um, wins big, glamorous awards? And what's super exciting about our guests this afternoon, they're all award winners, in some cases, multiple award winners. But we're also all female as well. This was the Women's Business Awards. And it was an exciting event. I was actually there on the night of the big celebrations, watching all the awards being uh, awarded and given out. And what a fantastic evening it was. But it only happens when you have the right people organising it, the right businesses entering, with the right, right philosophy and the right fire in their belly. I, you know, we're good enough to win this. And we do know the feeling of award winning because we are an award winning show, Nick. But these guys are going to be joining us have done amazing things. But let's bring into the studio the organiser, the founder of the Women's Business Awards. Please uh, give her a warm welcome to Debbie Gilbert. Good afternoon, Debbie. Hello, hello. Thank you for organising today. and Lovely to meet you both. Hi, um, Debbie. You did the, the best business women awards. I, I, I've got so many questions, so <laughs> many questions. Um, but the, the first one's got to be, how come? How come? Where did this all come from? Where did this start? This started back in 2014 when I was lucky enough to win an East of England Business Award and I was standing on the stage at the very end of the event and there were three women and I would say probably about 16 men. And when I looked at the photographs afterwards, I was thinking, hmm, this is quite disproportionate. There aren't enough female entrepreneurs entering these awards. So I sort of did my own bit of research and went and spoke to some female entrepreneurs and asked them. And resoundingly, they lacked confidence. They lacked the belief that they could even win an award. They lacked the belief that they were good enough. And yet they were all running amazing businesses. So what's the thing that you know you you were motivated to do if there's a gap in the market which there was at the time is to set my own up so I set up the best business women awarded and launched it in 2015 <laughs> um with a bit of nail biting and worry but I run a marketing business so I felt that if I couldn't market a product of my own then I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing and luckily the first year was a success and it's grown from there and it was a super success, uh, this year's awards. But during COVID times, um, obviously much more challenging. Did you manage still to keep things going? Or was it kind of like everything else, it kind of all closed down and you kind of had to revert to the digital world? In yes. COVID? So COVID was 2020. We'd already had our in-person launch event that year. So uh, by the time COVID was a, a thing, we'd already had entries in. So we thought, oh, by September, it'll be fine. We'll be able to run the final. So we carried on powering forwards. Um, but of course, it became apparent around about August that we were not going to be able to run an in-person event. So what I initially decided to do, um, because by then all the finalists had been announced, all the judging had been done, was to move it to April 2020. So we moved it, thinking we'd be able to do it, but of course we couldn't. So what we made, we made the decision around February 2021 to uh, use a platform called Remo, and we worked with the lovely Bradley at Network My Club, who um, has a license for Remo, and he uh, helped us deliver um, the best we could in March 2021 to celebrate the 2020 winners. And luckily, by September of last year, we could deliver our normal final. So we actually did two ceremonies last year, but one was online. 
It must have been so lovely uh, to, to have an event. You know what? The doors are open. We're going to get everybody in. It's going to be kind of like like it should be proper. Despite the best efforts of the train companies who were on strike that day, it uh, must have been, your, your, your nerves must have been kind of all over the place. Well, you know, like, Last year, obviously, we were still a little bit nervous because of COVID, because uh, it was still a thing. Um, so we did have a few cancellations, but not many on the night. And then um, this year, we were going swimmingly. And then I sat watching the news about 10 days before the final, <laughs> and they announced the train strike. And we were like, ah! So just went into mode of, okay, we need to get an email out to everybody, find out who's affected. There were about 30 people affected. And then we tried to do a bit of a matching service for people who were planning to get the train, but they could drive with somebody else. Um, because although our awards weren't actually on the train strike day, what was happening was trains were being cancelled that night if they reached their destination after midnight. So we had to rejig the running order, go with a split ceremony. So we did part of the awards um, over dinner and, and finish them off so we could get people uh, on stage to collect their awards because <clears throat> unfortunately a lot of them had to leave to get to get a train to get back. And then some people just decided to make a weekend in London. So they stayed an extra night on the Saturday night and went back on Sunday. Mm, yeah, there's comments flowing in already. Um, and if you want to comment, uh, please use the chat. Tell us, you know, if you were at the awards, uh, what you loved about it. Um, and if you wasn't there, then listen in because you might be able to find out more about being an award winning business yourself. But Stefan uh, Thomas has uh, commented on LinkedIn. Just come off another call. Always love your work, <laughs> Debbie. What a that look. Great, oh, feed, great, great <laughs> feedback. Uh, and uh, Judy Grimes says, that was an amazing event online too with fabulous cocktails and goodies delivered to our home. So that was obviously the, the one that you run on the real that was the on, Yeah, that platform. was the online. Yes, yeah. we pa we sent out packages to everybody which had cocktails and snacks and the programme. And then we said to people, get dressed up, put your photos out. And you know what? So many people did. And they put their photos out on social media of them all dressed up in their you know, black tyres and their beautiful dresses, po posting pictures, drinking champagne. And Julie is one of our long-standing sponsors and judges who was actually a winner herself back in 2016. And she became a judge and a sponsor after that. So hello, Julie. Um, so I'm interested, actually, David, because you came on board as a sponsor, this as a judge this year. So what was your thoughts on the judging? Well, firstly, as, as I said earlier, the, the, the evening was fantastic. It was all glitz and glam. Uh, it was nice to get dressed up and put the black tie on again. Uh, so it was a great evening. Everything, considering there was always that pressure of will people get there on time with this train strikes and all of that. Uh, firstly, you know, congratulations, a big well done for making something amazing happen. But from the judging point of view, I love judging. I love reading about other people's businesses, the successes, the challenges that they've faced, the things that they've done, you know, which has gone that extra mile. And for me, that's what it's all about when I'm reading, you know, a, a, an entry. It's about how can they differentiate themselves against, so against the competition? And I know we're going to meet some of our award winners very, very shortly. And some of them I judged and they all stood out for various different reasons. So, yeah, the judging process to me is such an important process and a great way to really see how people are making a difference in today's busy, busy world. Yeah, definitely. And it's nothing better than celebrating success. And we did our best to deliver it online, but nothing beats being able to get in person and celebrate because I just don't think awards translate as well online like some other things do but I don't think that does and I think you need that gathering together of everybody in that celebratory mood to really get the maximum benefit from it. It sounds it sounds awesome right and, and for those people view you know on watching either live or a recorded version of this we, we've got a bit of a video to uh, that captures some some of the glitz the glamour and the magic of the evening. Should we have a look? Should oh. we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what it happened in action.
with inspiring women in their glad rags. My name's Hella from Sister Snog, and I am ready to boogie woogie. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, welcome to the 2022 Best Business Women Awards. Um, and I just find the whole experience so empowering and so inspiring. I think Debbie is um, so inspiring, such an incredible human being. Um, I hope that this inspires every single woman that is in the room tonight and more. It just goes to show that if you have a passion for what you do, anything is possible. The BBWA, I think, is a fantastic platform for anyone to show their progress, to sing their praises every day, any founder or CEO. Thank you. Follow your dreams. I think that's the most important thing. Follow your dreams, but most of all, for me, is get a great team behind you because it's the team that make dreams come true and make reality happen. Wow, that always makes me tear up when I watch that. <laughs> I could see you as it was as it was playing in backstage. I could see you sitting there, and I could see you having to wipe the eyelids. Yeah, um, but brilliant! It, it absolutely showcased what an amazing evening it was. Thank you. Um, Thank now, you. before we bring our guests in, if people are interested in being part of uh, the twenty twenty three Women uh, Business Awards, the best Women Business Awards, how can they find out more? I've kind of a little bit of a hint, but straight to the website because we've literally today just put up our launch event, which will take place on Zoom. So that's the one thing we have carried forward from the pandemic is the launch event being online because it means that we can access people access people from all over the country rather than having to run three or four events across the country. Um, so that's just been put up for January. It's under the events section on the website. And also there's a little pop-up box which asks for your email. So if you want to be kept informed, then put your details into the pop-up box and that will put you onto our database and you'll get all the updates. But, uh, yeah, very excited about next year already. It's going to be phenomenal. And you're, you're right. We don't celebrate our wins you're enough. Right. And you could just see from the energy in the room, you know, and, and the, the kind of the, the individual kind of views on what it meant to those business owners, you know, about following their dreams and what the support for their whole teams. Amazing, amazing event. I think we, we should get some of these winners on onto uh, onto the show, shouldn't we? And and to see um see see how they found the evening. Yeah, let's let's bring them on. Um, here we go. We're going to bring them all in together, um, and then we're going to find out a little bit more about each of them and who they are and what they do. So they're all joining us here live in the studio. Let's reshuffle the windows around and get rid of the banner so we're all here. Um, well, good afternoon and welcome to you all. Um, do mind your language now. You are live broadcasting around the world, um, but great to have you all here with us. Uh, award winners. Um, looking all super proud of your recent achievements. But let's quickly just run around the room and just find out each of you who you are and what your business is. So um, I'm going to go in no particular order, but let's start with Kath in my bottom left-hand corner. Good afternoon to you, Kath. Hi, David, Nick, everyone. Hi, fellow award winners. Um, so my name is Kath Reynolds and I run a recruitment agency. We're a legal finance recruitment consultancy and been in business now for almost 15 years, anniversary next May, um, and been part of Debbie's awards now since 2016. I was a, my finalist, my first award with her. So, um, but we'll talk about the awards further on, won't we? We will. We will indeed. Thank you much, very much, Kath. That's lovely. Sweet, sweet, short, just what we're looking for. Um, let's go to uh, Trusha. Uh, who are you? What do you do? Hello, my, uh, I'm... I'm a uh, 
um, a business coach and a fractional finance director. I've been in business now for just over five years. So I'll be at year six in, in April. And um, I've, um, I come from a finance background. I've just also been uh, elected to council for global council for my, uh, for my global accountancy body, ACCA. So that all happened last week. Um, and my business is called Great Business Matters because I found the name, I took it because I really, really believe in that. And I thought the law of attraction brought that name to me. So, and, and that's, uh, and that, it was my first time entering and I was totally surprised to win. I was totally honored as well, so thank you. Brilliant, thank you, Trisha. Uh, Karen. Hi everyone. Um, so I've been in business um, five years, six years in January. I'm a canine massage therapist and a fitness coach for dogs. Um, and I just change dogs' lives for the better. And that changes the owners' lives as well. So it's an incredibly rewarding job. Um, and I cannot believe that I won their best pet services. Uh, it's just little old me on my own in my clinic. Um, and I'm just amazed that I, I got a gold in, in pet services and a silver in customer services this year. So, and yeah, I love the fact that I can get my business out there, but also canine massage more generally out there for people to know more about. So thrilled to be here today. This is the beauty of awards, right? It's, it's not just recognition for individuals and businesses. It's it's a big shout out to the world. So here I am and uh, I, I take note because this is awesome. It's fantastic. Thank you very much, Karen. Shamini, who are you and what do you do? Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all again. And we had such a good event that day. I'm sure everyone knows that. Um, yeah, it's me. I have a small business in New York where I teach or facilitate people to learn how to cook Indian food cuisine from scratch. That's in a nutshell. That's all I do. And to get an award, Debbie, I just still don't understand how I got there. <laughs> Because you're amazing. <laughs> it's a shame we can't do a taste testing uh, at this, this particular right. interview uh, because I saw some of the food that you've uh, prepared and stuff like that. And it looks absolutely amazing. Um, so maybe next time, Nick, what we need to do is we need to go to Charmaine's uh, Cafe restaurants uh, and have some home cooked uh, food as well. That would be brilliant. We can report on how tasty it is. I make all our listeners um, very jealous. Uh, thank you very much. Um, let's go to Emma, please. Hi there. Hi, thanks for having me. So I'm Emma Carroll. I'm the founder and director of Learning at Choose to Grow. We're a training provider that delivers leadership development to large scale organizations. Um, and in its simplest form, I'm a leadership coach. Fantastic. Well, I don't think we've ever. Yeah, and I can say multi award winning leadership coach. Thanks mm. to <laughs> multi i don't think we've ever had so many award winners on the show at the same time amazing amazing and for the half dozen um that have joined us today natasha please um who are you and what do you do hi thanks for having me on um so i'm natasha and i set up the lodge preschool and nursery in 2019 which is a children's nursery in bromley um and we've grown really slowly but we're now at capacity and I was, um, I put myself up for best new business and won, which um, oh, was just incredible. The night was unbelievable. And then um, runner up in best business, working with children and families and most inspirational as well. So yeah, I had to pinch myself. I've just come down on cloud nine actually. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go. Uh, this is not all the award winners. You are the ones that are joining us here today because uh, I'm sure Debbie can vouch. There was lots of other award winners, all very, very worthy of uh, picking up their gold and silver awards uh, for being amazing themselves. Debbie, just come back to you before we kind of find out about each award, what they've won. Um, how many categories did you have at the awards events and uh, how many overall winners did you have? Because you had two categories. Explain the difference, the gold and the silver. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we had 16 categories this year and mm. we, we do things slightly differently to a lot of awards um, because we want to recognise everyone who's selected because we are not a bums on seats awards. There are awards out there that shortlist a lot of people. I'm sure you've all seen them. And you sort of think, hmm. Um, so ours is a mark of quality if you're selected. So 
we have a category winner, a gold winner of each category, and we have everybody else are silver winners. So we have silver winners as well. So 87 women in total out of all the entries we had, which ran into the hundreds, uh, were selected this year. And each year it's around, it's between 80 and 100 people every year are chosen. So you will always win an award if you're chosen. You'll win a silver or a gold. That's that's phenomenal, right? Just 16 categories judged on quality and yeah, um, absolutely. 87 women picking up an awards uh, yeah. at, at the event. Um, yeah. well, I'm, I'm interested to know what does that mean for a business to win an award? Let's go back to Kath. Um, what, what has it meant? winning an award on, on, on the big day, Kath? Well, Nick, um, I won the gold winner of Best Businesswoman in Recruitment this year. And as I said, I've, I've been part of Debbie's Award since 2016. So I've been a finalist uh, for two years. I was a Silver Award winner last year. Um, so definitely multi-award winning. But also my business is also a multi-award winning business. And for 15 years of trading, we've a total of 17 awards. As I said to Debbie, what it does, obviously, is it promotes your brand, first and foremost. But for me personally, um, as a businesswoman, but also that assists the company in who we are. And it, it, it allows people to resonate with balance and who, who are the directors of balance and get to know us more personally, which is our whole ethos, really. Balance recruitment has been around, as I said, for 15 years and how we get most of our business is through repeat business and our reputation referrals. So the more awards we win, be it personal for the company, um, people come to, to see us or they can see this video or different um, other platforms where myself and my direct, my um, business partner has, has also won awards. And it, it just makes people feel that they know who is behind the name. Yeah. And obviously business. that we achieve um, <laughs> awards and we, we strive for quality and high standards. Yeah. And that's what a good, you know, business award means at the end of the day. It means, you know, uh, you know, you've gone that extra mile, you've been judged yeah. through quality <laughs> and you've put yourself on a pedestal compared to your competition. Uh, Multi-award winning, as you say, Kath, uh, it becomes a bit of a, you know, it becomes a bit of an obsession as well. Once you, you know, you've it entered and you, whether you become an, an entry or you become a finalist or you become a winner, it's like, well, I've done this once. Let's do it again. You know, you, you want more. You sort of need to continue and um, it doesn't have to be every single year, but I think one of the worst things is going to a website and seeing that 15 years ago someone won an award and there's been nothing since. I missed out. <laughs> I, I think that you need to continue to strive and, and achieve better things and I'm grateful because actually next year I'm going to be a judge for Debbie. So yeah, next step in the awards. Going going yep. through the process from finalist to winner, uh, now to a judge and you see the yeah. process, you understand. And of course, the great thing about doing that, you also understand what you're judging as well. Absolutely. You, you, I can't you've wait. Been there, you've been there, yeah. you've done it. You've got the t-shirt, the mug. <laughs> uh, so, so going forward, you know what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, Natasha, yeah. how did it feel from your perspective to you know, be um, told um, that you are an award-winning organisation? Well, I mean, it was absolutely incredible. Um, I I was shocked, but um, so excited. And, um, you know, my team are amazing. So, you know, the whole process of going through entering the award was actually really therapeutic for me because, you know, for me, I'm so focused on always looking forward and what comes next. It was a really good opportunity to look back and kind of document where it all started. And, um, and that was, that was amazing. And, you know, all of it, I owe all of it to my team. I've got an incredible team. We've grown very slowly. Um, and yeah, as soon as we knew we were nominated, um, I didn't expect to win, but I was, I just knew we all had to go together. So, you know, I've got a team of 19, we closed the uh, nursery early, we've got a minibus. Um, mm -hmm. We did sit in traffic for quite a long time. I think I gave Debbie a heart attack at some stage, but um, we just had the best night and it was, it was, the whole process has been fantastic. It's great to celebrate success. We should do a lot more 
of it. Yeah. We're, we're a little bit backward in coming forward when we when it comes to celebrating success. Um, um, Emma, what did what did it mean for you to win an award? Well, it, oh, it was absolutely um, outstanding for me, to be honest, because um, we'd won a kind of local award for us in Wales um, just two months prior. And then when we came, I stepped up and come to nationals against all these amazing women in business, I was quite intimidated, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I was just really happy to be a finalist and even sat at the table waiting for the announcement for the award. I think I probably didn't believe I was going to win it. So it was a huge, huge shock. And I think if you watch the video back, um, being Welsh, there were some choice words said in, in shock with Claire on the stage. Um, so we had a giggle about that afterwards. So apologies about that. But I was just um, so overwhelmed. And I think for me, I've, I actually made a little list of the things that it's actually done for me and my business since. And it hasn't been that long, has it? But I won't, I won't bore you with the list because it's actually quite long. But the one thing I did write down was it's definitely reduced my imposter syndrome about my work and the work that I do and really grounded me and made me more confident in the work that we do and that we deliver to organisations. And so that validation piece has been super, super important. And I'm in my seventh year of business um, and this is our first year on the awards. So, you know, it, if, if it does nothing else apart from strengthen your brand, it does actually help you take that next step and think, you know, we this we're really good at what we do now let's go forward and do more of it yeah i love the fact you've made a list of how it's <laughs> helped you uh, and you mentioned a couple of the couple of the main reasons there um but is there one more of that list you can give us what you know there's, there's so many things but what... yeah well for starters you know seven years in business um we've got great clients um I, you know i try and have a long-standing relationship with all of my clients um we want to be their provider of choice and there's a lot of choice. So what I've noticed it's done for me is definitely um, ensure that those clients that are with me are staying with me because it's really given that validation. And they, you know, they're kind of looking at the work we've done and they they feel really great about that they're with with an award-winning training provider. So that's that's awesome because that that really is um, you know lifelong kind of relationship with your clients. Um, I've achieved two new bits of business from it so far, and it's only been a couple of months. And my my you know it's not. Um, quick turnaround for me in terms of converting work. We do large proposals that take long periods of time to do that. So for that to have happened, that's impact for me. That's brilliant. You know, it's helped me develop new business. And actually, um, I won't name the award um, company that have contacted me and asked me now to apply for their award next, which is a kind of different dynamic to me going out and looking for awards, but they are actually a professional governing body in my industry. So that's really great. So it's up my profile there and credibility. And that's three things off the list. I've got more, but I'll hold back because I feel like I might be thinking at the airtime for everyone else. It's, it's a great list. It's a great <laughs> list. And uh, uh, you know, chances are it inspires us, the rest of us to um, start compiling our own lists. So I, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of varied emotions um, from the winners here, from initially intimidation, disbelief, validation, shock, excitement, a bit of therapy even. Um, uh, Trusha, let's go to uh, you next. Um, how was it for you? What's it meant to uh, to be an award winning for you? Um, for me, it, it was. It, it, I'll be honest. Uh, on the day, it's, it's a national award, and it's an amazing national award. Um, and it's my first time of entering, so I was on the table, not expecting to win. I uh, and the shock was was discernible, um, uh, and. Um, and the collaboration around the room was great, but for me, it was a, uh, it, it, I'd set a goal this year. I'm a coach, so I set goals, and I set a goal that, uh, five years in business, I want to prove my worth. Much, much as Emma had said, you know, it's, it's, am I doing the right things? And as a business coach, I think I ought to know. But when it's your own business, when it's your own baby, I'm not always sure. So. And I made a goal that I'm only going to enter quality awards. As, as, as many people know, there are so many out there that are awards for awards sake. And um, so when I when my name was called out, uh, it wasn't just what I felt, the shock, but it's what it's, much as everyone said, what it's done. And um, I've had people come come to me and contact me as a result uh, to con not not just to congratulate me because that's been amazing that people I don't know um, and they've been following me on LinkedIn because I've been posting I even posted about this show on LinkedIn because I'm so excited to be here um, and it's it's about 
uh, people coming up to me and saying, well done, you know, we totally believed in you and we've been um, telling people about you. For, but for people to come to coaching is always a slow move. So I've had a, a couple, two clients come from that, one that's converted and one that's joining me in the new year. Um, and the other thing that's happened is I've made friends. I'm looking at Karen there. We were sitting next to each other and, we, you know, we we're up for the same award. But it's the collaboration that I felt on the night. At no point did was anybody disappointed that they won or didn't won. It was it was it's such a wonderful atmosphere at these awards, and everybody was was rowing each other on. I, I I went up to Carmen and she came up to me, um, and it's I, I would say if anyone's sitting on the fence and thinking about writing an award, do it, try it. Because the worst that will happen is that you'll meet a bunch of great people. The best that you'll, is is that you'll win something. So you're going to lose nothing by entering something like this. Yeah, I couldn't couldn't agree more. Um, absolutely, 100. percent The collaboration, the partnerships, the meeting new people, building you know friendships, and long that continue as well. Um, after today, I'm sure you will all stay uh, you know connected and sharing and caring as well. Uh, Charmini, um, has it helped you? I mean, I'm looking in your background there. I can see your photos and your awards sitting there uh, on the desk behind you. Has it helped you reach out to a, an audience that maybe didn't know you uh, or did know you, but now you're an award winner? Um, has that sort of um, accelerated uh, your ability to work with clients and customers? It has, in a way, because like you were saying, Trish, Trisha, about uh, people coming to know about you, like you can have some thousand over followers, which I never had in my life. And I say, what? <laughs> yeah. And uh, the goodness is people do recognize and it becomes like a word of mouth and people share the things because they do put comments after my classes in TripAdvisor and getting the, that award to help me move on. But Best Woman's Award, I think Debbie, you have done such a good job because even just getting that card that I'm so proudly put out, congratulations, you're the 2022 finalist. It meant so much because you see it on the screen, somebody will send a letter saying, oh, yeah, you're the finalist. But getting a card in hand, you think, wow. <laughs> and also, you have given everyone a silver and a gold award. So everyone who came there, you know, you felt good that you have done your best and you're recognized for what you have done and that's why you are there and like uh, Trisha and all the rest of you were saying everyone was so happy for each other you know you just shout out and say yeah good on you and oh it was a beautiful evening you does help it does help like uh, Kat did you say you got 17 awards is it yes yeah yeah and I received 10 awards this year that's one I know, I can see you everywhere. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh my God, how did that happen? But it's, <laughs> I think it's like building blogs, I mean, what, dominoes? <laughs> I'm trying to work it out between probably all of you in here. You've probably got more bits of silverware and trophy than Lewis Hamilton has. Um, and that's going a long way, isn't it, uh, to be able to achieve that? Um, yeah, absolutely. And it probably goes on to what I said earlier. You know, once you win an award, you're hungry to, you know, see what more you can do and you want to enter and retain your accolade of being award winning, winning as well. Uh, Debbie, look, you know, Six amazing ladies here joining us today, all worthy of their awards. Um, what would be your final message to anyone out there watching this thinking, should I enter? Is it worth it? I, I think we've heard from them. But from your perspective, you're an award winner as well. Would you say to everybody, if you're not, not sure, just give it a go, try it. We've got nothing to lose. Exactly, because I think the first and foremost, completing an award entry gives you the opportunity to do a 360 degree look at your business. And that in itself is a really valuable exercise to do. So it enables you to look back at what you've achieved. It enables you to look forward at what your plans are, because a lot of award entries ask for that as well. And I think it helps you to stand back and really reflect on everything you've done. So that in itself is a great exercise. And, you know, the only person that can shout about you in the best possible way is you. 
So whilst it's nice being nominated for an award, um, I'm really not a fan of the voting contests because that's based on how many contacts somebody's got rather than their business ability. So being externally judged by a business panel and our entries are seen independently by three different judges and therefore you get that external validation of how great your business is and how well you're doing which is why we brought in the silver awards for all of our selected women because we felt that there is a mark of quality there you know and therefore if you sit around waiting for it to happen it's never going to happen you've got to make it happen so you know not just our awards but there's lots of awards out there do your due diligence look at the awards look at who's judging them look at the previous winners and make your decisions about what you're going to enter next year there's a great website called awards list and that lists pretty much all of the, the awards globally locally nationally and industry specific and look at a mixture of things so Emma touched on the fact that she'd done local awards as well and I think local awards industry awards and national awards having a range of things and like some of our winners sitting here today um, like Kath's got 17 awards because she constantly has that as part of her marketing plan and Charmini the same and I think it will keep you in front of mind of your clients I was a finalist the FSB Awards this year. <laughs> so I still enter awards myself as our business. And I think it's really important to keep your profile up there. I, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. But I, I know we're, we're, we're running out of time. And before you, um, you let us remind us how we, I say we, how other women business owners apply for 2023, I just want to hear from Karen. Um, because not only have you brought dog massage to the world, that must be easier. And now you're an award winner. What did it What did it mean for you? Is it is this all resonate? Everything you've heard? Oh yeah, absolutely. Everything anyone said today, um, imposter syndrome when you're working on your own, is is a real issue. Um, I entered last year um, the Best Business Woman Awards because I was in lockdown again, and. I was like, oh, okay, so I can't see any clients. What can I do? And that was my opportunity to do a 360. I wasn't actually entering the award to win anything. I was thinking of it as a, right, well, I can't do anything with the business. How am I getting on? Where am I? And where do I want to go? And that, that was so, so powerful and useful, which is why I entered again this year, because it isn't about the awards for me. It's about that structured process of reviewing your business and seeing where you are. But also, I mean, the win has really helped in that anyone can call themselves a canine massage therapist. Anyone can do a one-day course online and compete with me in my business. And having an award at least gives some confidence to my, my skills and my ethics, really, which is really valuable. And it's very surreal walking around the estate with my dogs and everyone congratulating me on winning the awards. That is very weird having spoken to them kind of on a casual basis, sort of on and off for a couple of years, all of a sudden they're congratulating me. Very weird. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Amazing job by all of you. Uh, Debbie, remind us if those are interested, how can they find out more? Uh, website, Best Business Women Awards, and we're launching on the 19th of January 2023 for 2023. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're a female entrepreneur, you should be entering. Brilliant. And that's in the chat as well. So if you're watching this uh, or watching on catch up, uh, you'll be able to get to that link. Do take the opportunity, sign up. You never know. Your story might in you know get to a judge and make them say that is a winner, uh, just like our winners here today. Um, I think it really kind of says, well done. Congratulations. Big round of applause to you all and all the other winners. Uh, well done and congratulations to Debbie for bringing together such a fantastic awards. Um, from an award-winning chat show uh, from myself, uh, David Bell and Mr. Nick Luby, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And, uh, well, we'll be back. We'll find out more about the journeys of these individuals and how they've gone on to win more awards in the future. Bye-bye uh, from me. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.